It remains uncertain whether it is a psychopath or a child reflecting in that universe, between those dusty frames, whether innocence can exist at all, or whether it ever could have. The general, the princess, and the pirate, and the mice too, they are still dancing there, waiting for you. The psychological narrative tells us that it was this place where you last really saw yourself completely, where you last loved yourself unconditionally. The voice from inside your pillow and the eyes on your alarm clock, they consider that something has been a little off all along. A thousand hearts beating inside your chest, and you are so upset with the world's arts and poetry for opening certain doors for you, but then leaving you on your own in this world after all, because nobody really understands, and nothing can really grasp your voice at full clarity. And these days, standing before that ladder that once led to your heaven's dreams, just feels pathetic to you, shameful, and innocence is the biggest of all lies, it seems. But today, you're giving a present to yourself and everyone up there, and it would feel like treason not to. A wooden reconnaissance plane, a dress that is much too pretty for yourself, you think. A new eye patch, a wedge of cheese too, and a bottle of rum. You will take that one to bed with you later. Back to the battles. Back to controlling yourself and others. Back to seizing something you desire. Something that keeps you together as good as possible. Well, you're gonna be fine, Peter. You're gonna be fine.